You should not be afraid to come into work. The brazen armed robberies have become commonplace. Maybe one of the scariest things I've ever seen to watch my employees be put on their knees with a gun at their head being told to open a safe. 2394 at two. They take in a lot of cash at Maggie Doyle's Green Lady stores, but they pay extra fees with Washington State based banks, so some of the transactions can be done by debit card. But the thieves don't know that. And that has her employees scared. I don't know if I want to take a closing shift because what if we get robbed? And that's a reality that we have to talk about in interviews now when I interview people to take a job. I have to bring up being robbed. Federal drug laws prevent nationally regulated banks from getting involved with marijuana businesses. So most smaller pot shops are cash only, making them ripe for robberies. And these robberies are, uh, are tragic, but these robberies are also preventable. Washington State Treasurer Mike Pellicciotti is in Washington, D.C. this week trying to rally support from the state's congressional delegation for the so-called Safe Banking Act. It would allow national banks to open accounts with pot businesses allowing for debit and credit card transactions. You can't have a $1.4 billion a year transaction taking place in the state of Washington in cash and not have the risk of these type of robbers. We just, it, it's time. It would be unbelievably amazing. Maggie Doyle likes to think limiting cash at their stores helps protect their workers, but she says making it easier for the entire industry to go cash free would make every pot shop safer. It's very frustrating because we are a business, we're helping the community, and we just want to be a member of that society and bank, and we can't. The bill to change those federal banking laws is passed out of the U.S. House of Representatives six times, but it keeps failing to pass out of the Senate. But the treasurer thinks this is the year it'll pass. The Democrats, he says, have the majority. They seem to support it. He also says all of these robberies we've seen will likely raise more support for the change. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.